Hi guys, um, so basically this video is going to be about a request I got from Thomas who basically does World War One Airsoft Battlefield 1 style and he's a pretty cool dude. He has like all kinds of memes on his Facebook page and his like Instagram page. I should put his link down, you should check him out. So Thomas, what I basically did as for my gas mask is um, use olive oil and some shoe polish. Uh, what I basically did is get got the um, olive oil and basically like spread it around on it so it kind of get got dark. It's still kind of dark because obviously olive oil on leather leather what it does is basically darken the um, leather so good because obviously it was actually used in the ancient times as a um, as a leather protective thing before all the other chemical stuff just came out with the industrial age and the, all the other techniques were developed. What I also use is actually Kiwi shoe polish, which is actually pretty good for any leather products you actually have. But keep in mind, before actually applying it, uh, treat the leather with some type of leather oil or olive oil. Um, it's fairly easy actually you just like spread it around first the actual olive oil as you can see actually Olive oil also kind of protects the uh, metal Metal on the gas mask especially the paint because when this paint scratches off it's gonna get rusty uh, Which is a problem with these masks, but what can you do? Um, also as you can see in size of it. It's, it's actually like kind of this color because of I put a lot of oil olive oil into it and it doesn't smell because most of it is almost dry, but even the insides turned the actual like brownish color. And you can kind of see where I didn't actually use a lot of olive oil, where you can see, because I think I'm gonna add like mink oil or some type of oil to create that uh, rubberized finish on the seams and the other pieces. This is not really finished. Going back to the shoe polish, you basically just like some places, you're just dapping it around you especially the stitches actually to make them a bit darker but this thing still needs some work but I hope you enjoyed the video one thing I really don't like about these replica gas masks is basically the eyepieces I'm going to make a better video about this by the way guys just so you know um, the eyepieces are actually supposed to be around here like an inch above what they actually are but what can you do I mean it's actually a good mask and I found a few ways to actually kind of wear it properly with the helmet. It kind of helps the, it basically pulls the straps back up into your face and it, it's fairly easier to see in a way, but still your eyes doesn't really look good. But what can you do? Um, so yeah, it's basically a short tutorial on how I kind of did it. Um, I'm sorry, I can't show it to you guys, like the whole process, what I did. But it's fairly easy, just like like changing this bayonet frog from this to this is basically the same process. Olive oil and shoe polish. That's what I did. And as you can see also, I didn't polish this part because uh, I've seen original photographs of original items that were darkened this way, basically. The opposite side like the when you're wearing it it's hitting the uniform so you're not supposed to polish it in a way with shoe polish because it dirty up your uniform that's a good thing to know uh, so yeah thank you for watching um, also going to supposed to make some videos about my soul book because I need to fill this out but I have no idea how so yeah thank you for watching